Hello my learner, this is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to EZLIM Learning Simplified. Our grade 4 science and technology on human body. We are still looking on functions of different parts of digestive system. And today we are on small intestines. And before we go to the small intestines, I would wish we remind ourselves or remind ourselves on what we learned on our previous lessons. We said digestion of food and muscle starch begins at the mouth. Once we put the food in our mouth, what happens? In pairs, can you observe what happens? We said the food is broken down in the mouth to small particles which are rolled, compacted together, joined by the saliva to form balls which goes down the esophagus in movement we called it peristalsis all the way down to the stomach and we said once the food reaches the stomach it is mixed with the hydrochloric acid inside the stomach which kills the germs and the gastric juice which is produced by the wall of the stomach which digests the part of the food called proteins or the bodybuilding foods that is what we had learned in the previous and today now we want to continue. Now from the stomach, where you can see the, the thinner part. Now this is where the small intestines begin. This is the beginning of the small intestine. And the small intestines begins here all the way down, 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 all the way to here. These are the small intestines. And small intestines, they are divided into two parts. This part, from the, immediately from the stomach to here, we call it the upper part of the small intestines. And this upper part of the small intestine, we call it the duodenum. The duodenum, if you can see very well, it is conjoined by the pancreas and the liver. The pancreas and the liver. Inside the liver, we have a green, this one I've indicated with green so that you can see it. A green part, which is called gallbladder, and inside it is has a juice called the bile juice. The work of this bile juice, once the food reaches at the duodenum, the gallbladder produces the bile juice which digests fats and oils after it has joined by the pancreatic juice from the pancreas. It digests fats and oils. Then the food goes down again to now the main part of the small intestines and this main part of the small intestine now is the part number two which we call it ileum it is the longest up to the maximum of approximation of seven meters long why is it long to increase the service area for absorption of food and further redigestion and once the food now lands here it is now goes down to these coils it is goes down it is being redigested for easy absorption and to maximize the absorption of food. Inside the small intestines, we have finger-like projections. They look like fingers. Inside the, the small intestines or the ileum, we have finger-like projections. These finger-like projections are the ones responsible for absorption of food. And these finger-like projections, we call them villi. We call them villi. Their work is to absorb the digested food and now the digestion of food ends at small intestine are we together class now in groups what is the function of the small intestine how is small intestine situated or made so that it can accommodate the digestion of food we have said it has a part called duodenum the upper part and here in this upper part fats and oil are digested in the upper part. This is the duodenum. And the process of breaking fats and oils, it's called emulsification. The process of breaking down fats and oil is called emulsification. And it is broken down by the bile juice, which is produced by the liver. And then the pancreas produces the pancreatic juice, which digests them further. It continues to digest them further. Now we have said we have part number two of the small intestine we call it ileum and the ileum is the second part this is the lower part this is the lower part 
is the lower part of small intestine lower part of small intestines lower part of small intestine intestines it is the lower part of small intestines that is the ilium and this small intestine is long it is very long it is long it is long coiled it is very long coiled tube it is a very long coiled tube with a maximum or approximation of seven meters approximation of seven meters and the reason for it being long and coiled it is to increase the reason why it is long and coiled to increase service area service area for absorption to increase service area then we have, we have also said all foods all food is now redigested re The food is redigested and re now after it has been redigested it is absorbed it is absorbed to the body it is absorbed to the body it is absorbed to the body after it has been redigested it is now absorbed to the body so absorption of food takes place in ilium absorption of food takes place in ilium and what makes absorption easy small intestines have finger like projections finger like projections cord villi cord villi These finger-like projections are called filii for maximum. The reason why they are like fingers, it's for maximum absorption of digested food. The reason why they are finger-like, it is to maximize absorption of digested food food and now digestion of food ends at this point digestion of food digestion of food ends here at the small intestine now digestion of food remember the mouth starch was digested at the stomach proteins were digested and we also said vitamins pro, uh, vitamins mineral salts alcohol medicinal drugs are never digested so they are absorbed direct at the stomach to our body and then now at ilium redigestion of all the foods is done again and absorption now of the digested food is done to our body so digestion of food will end at this point digestion of food will end at this point any question my learners i have a question for you what is emulsification can you tell me what we have said is emulsification what have we said is emulsification we have said emulsification it is breaking down of fats and oils to symbol components which are easily absorbed by the body that is emulsification and activity for us to do 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 answer the following questions activity for us to do An activity for us to do is answer the following question. Question number one. 
where does digestion end? And that is question number one. Question number two, digestion of proteins occurs where? Digestion of proteins occurs where? And the third and the question is where does digestion of starch occur? That marks the end of our lesson today. Remember when you reach at home Kindly ask your parent to help you with your, his gadget or her gadget and watch a full video of digestion of food from the mouth all the way down to the ileum or all the way down to the small intestines. And that marks the end of our lesson for today. Have a wonderful time.